And there's even cinnamon on your bottom. Hello everybody, it's Barry here. Hope you are well, wherever you are in the world. Uh, first things first, I've got a bit of a sore throat today, but it feels like quite husky actually. Quite like I could just do an advert for jeans or something like that. The other thing, Mrs. Barry is off work today. She's on a four hour health and safety uh, conference call thing for her job, but she can't be muted the whole time. So every now and then she's gonna get me going, stonking, food, yum, uh, all that exciting stuff. So I need to probably, re that's not why I'm being quiet. I have a slightly sore throat, uh, but it's, it's fine. It's husky we've been we've been a bit naughty i quite like it and the recipe we're making is snickerdoodles today which has nothing to do with snickers i got a bit confused thinking oh, i've made these before no that's a fluffer nutter which was an epic extremely naughty sandwich from a few years ago snickerdoodles they have nothing to do with snickers and i always it's just that thing no 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 it's cinnamon rolled cookies where you can switch up the cinnamon too if you wish. And I've been asked to do this for years, like snickerdoodle brownies. Uh, there's other ones where you can roll it in like Nesquik or just completely mix it up. Really keen to give this a go today. There's one other thing to tell you and uh, I was not gonna do a video this week. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit low. I'm not gonna make this a huge scene. Uh, I was gonna do a video explaining it, but I didn't wanna cause any drama. I was gonna take some time off, but I'm actually really excited to make cookies and that's me, right? Um, but I have decided to uh, refund the uh, pizzeria crowdfund campaign uh it's been very up and down it's been my heart in my heart for the last two years a real passion project of mine but this is a head over heart decision and it is the right one uh i'm not going to go into it too much but the basic main reason that i've done it is because i cannot and i refuse to waste the extremely kind backers from all over the world's funds on something that i feel the way the world is right now is just way too risky to open in short to open the doors to make it reality there is ways that I could have probably cut costs and made it a little bit meh, bit of blob on the paint on the wall and cooked pizza in a frying pan. If it doesn't be the vision that I wanted, what's the point? And there is a very, very high risk that I would have uh, risked my own personal finances on top of that as well. Uh, and it, the, above that, the most important thing is that if I like get given funds to make something happen, and I know in my heart it's not how I wanted, and ultimately they could all be wasted then there's no point in doing it. So it's hit me massively hard. I'm all good though, and I just, I feel like this is a real time to reflect on it and part of the journey and be like, okay, we learned from that, we move on. Uh, some people are saying, what's the next crowdfund gonna be? I really wanna support you. And there probably will be one, but something I can much easier fulfill uh, wherever you are in the world and uh, we'll just get going really. But speaking of that, let's do these cookies because they sound amazing. Although despite since doing the cinnamon challenge. My eyes are watering, my eyes are watering. I really have lost the, like, the appetite for cinnamon. We'll see how we go. They're supposed to be mind-blowingly good. So, as always, thank you for the support. This week particularly, I, I'm really feeling the love. So, wherever you are in the world, however long you've been subscribed or watching my videos, um, yeah, let's eat cookies. <laughs> okay, so these cookies are apparently quite crumbly and uh, almost like the cracks, you kind of want to endorse them. Uh, I have seen ones where people make them fat, but generally the thin ones uh, seem to work where they're cr really crispy on the outside with that sort of cracked texture. So let's see if we can get that. This is just some flour, amazing. We've got some salt, so uh, unnecessary salt bay, please. I do actually wonder if you guys see the recipes when I say unnecessary salt bay. Does some of you actually go, all right, yeah, I need to um, just do that. So I've just finished adding in some bicarbonate of soda and cream of tartar. Now bicarbonate of soda I've used in cookies before, but apparently for snickerdoodles to help with the texture and the cracking, the cream of tartar, which I think comes from fermented grapes, uh, is gonna help with the appearance. It's gonna give it a slightly acidic, tangy taste. Whizzy whiz. Well, there we go. We will leave these dry ingredients to one side because now we're gonna to beat together the uh, sugar and the butter that is not at room temperature, but will be now in a minute in my microwave. Thank you. And do you know what? My true aim of this video is, I know Mrs. B's on her call, but I want her to be like, that smells amazing, and hang up on the call and come down and monge too on a bunch of cinnamon drenched cookies. Okay, so that's some granulated sugar as well. I normally use caster sugar, but granulated is a bit more coarse and I'm wondering if that's gonna affect the texture of these. There we go. So nice and light and fluffy, like a little chick. Speaking of which, one at a time, whisk through a large egg. Nice. Ah, sorry, I just can't get this seal off. This is a really expensive, <laughs> 
out the angle, get out of the way. Uh, vanilla extract, so about two teaspoons of that. Oh, that smells of vodka. And other than this, just whisk that very briefly. I do make sure you get the sides though. Combine that with the flour, we still have to make this sugary cinnamon topping, which goes on separately. Epic. We're gonna need a bigger boat bottle. Uh, do you realize actually the line in Jaws, I was reading something the other day, it was actually, you're gonna need a bigger boat, not we're gonna need a bigger boat. Anyhow, cookies, uh, I put these into a bigger bowl and they can, they've almost got like a, a weird sort of cracky surface texture right now. We're gonna add the dry ingredients in. I've gone for a slightly bigger bowl just to allow for that. I might have run out of space in the other one. What? Yeah, that's getting ripply already. So I'm just slowly incorporating it through a little bit at a time, but not over whisking it. I guess you could fold it, but whisking's much easier, isn't it? <laughs> Anything we can use an appliance, I'm game. And there we go, check that out. That, that's how thick that is. That's, it looks like a bowl of cream. So this is what is gonna be the cookie. All right, so the oven needs to be 200C, 180C fan, 400 Fahrenheit. So we're getting that nice done now uh, because all we've got to do is make that sugar cinnamon topping. I'm gonna to put it on lined baking sheets so I've got my baking mats. Speaking of bicarbonate soda from earlier, someone showed me actually there's a really good way of cleaning steel pats with that. So I quite like using mine at like war tattered and actually I do have a lot more coming to Amazon if you want to get some of these because they've been really popular. Um, but you can, if you want to get them back to their original state, this uh, hack using bicarbonate soda. Maybe I'll try it on a future video but get your oven warm and let's make this sugar cinnamon topping. The sugar again is granulated and then two tablespoons of uh, ground cinnamon. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah possibly one of the easiest recipes in the world cinnamon sugar is basically cinnamon and sugar hence the name I guess. It's not sugar cinnamon it's cinnamon you have to put it in that order it won't work. Baking tray is ready, oven is ready. Here is an ice cream scoop and uh, the batter, okay? So we're gonna apparently take this, roll the batter into a ball, then we plonk it in here and roll it around to fully, fully coat it, and then down on the baking tray like that, like a ball. Uh, apparently we've got a space he's quite well apart, hence I've got another tray. So I'm gonna keep doing that and hopefully they're not going to end up like cinnamon golf balls and they'll be the actual cookies. I will say this though, it does feel a bit odd. It feels like I'm rolling up cold mashed potato, <laughs> but it is fun. All right, so we are baking these for 10 minutes and whenever I make cookies for the first time, I try to just make sure I give it the best chance by doing one batch. I've got enough for two batches down there, but 10 minutes in there, Middle shelf. I don't want to do up and down just to so I keep my eye on one batch. 10 minutes only, apparently. So what we're looking for is the edges to slightly crisp up, but the center might still look a little bit gooey, which hopefully as it cools, will make it that amazing epic texture. Crumbly, cinnamon infused. And I'm, re I'm really genuinely unsure how this is going to turn out. Some of those balls were not, they look like more mountains, but let's see what happens. Not sure. Oh my gosh. I'm not, can you see that? Why has it got a big lump in the middle of it? <laughs> it's like he's bumped his head, that one. But that is only four minutes in. So I'm keeping my eye out for those crispy sides and then we're getting it on the wire rack. The time is up. Look at them. Mrs. B. Hello. She's on a comfort break. What the heck's a comfort break? <laughs> I think it's a polite way to say toilet break. All right. <laughs> How long's a comfort break? I got two minutes left. What, that's a quick... No, we had we had ten minutes. Oh, so you have so been to talk. Go back. Right, okay. <laughs> Look, your comfort breaks over. Sorry. Just as the cookies are done. They're slightly cracked, sizzling a little bit, firm around the edge, puffed in the middle. I'll bake my other batch. Stonk. They smell really good. Imagine you going up now for your comfort break, and them like, did you just bake those? No, they can't see me. I've turned the camera microphone off now, thanks to you shouting upstairs. Oi! <laughs> have you started yet? Yes. Is the microphone on? Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you said. Oh, I, I, I did swear. Trying to find how to turn it off. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I was like, oh, it's just a test here. Oh, my mic's still on. Like, oh. Okay. So this is crazy. Based on the other batch, they go from mashed potato balls to these wonderful cinnamon discs. Oh my gosh. Sources and contacts and, you know, things that you might need to know. Um... He's going to kill me down on there to fully cool down. 
nice sort of puff center, but the, the edges are firm. I think there's gonna be nice and gooey, almost doughy. I'm so happy with how far they spread out on the tray. Real nice big sizes. I really love how these have turned out. Like, you have to remember as well, I rolled them up and some of them were pretty like rough looking. They weren't the roundest but they've turned out an absolute charm. Oh my gosh, I just, I love the speckles on them. And they're all unique in their own way. Ah, no, 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 don't, 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 don't fall, don't fall. Don't, don't. Ooh, I can feel a squidginess here. Loving this. Here we go. Are you ready? Mmm. Do you remember your first snickerdoodle? <laughs> I will. That is outstanding. What I love about it is that the topping is rolled and baked through all the way around. There's even cinnamon on your bottom. <laughs> Crispy edges there, but there's a sort of softness barrier that comes in. It's not raw or uncooked. It's pillowy, squishy, comforting and warming. And, and I guess with the cinnamon in there, like slightly autumnal, with a real good crunch too. Mm. It's kind of like a cookie that's just been turned up to 11. It's like next level. I, I mean, I've loved that extra little effort that we put into it and just the results are outstanding. I'm not really getting any sort of like tang uh, from the cream of tartar. Maybe I'm just used to that. Maybe I should just put vinegar on it and maybe I'll spot that. But if you do uh, snickerdoodles and you do other different flavors and versions, I'm gonna probably play around with this uh, in my own time and do some different flavor combinations. So do let me know down below. Why have I never made you before? You are amazing. Nice to meet you. I now know why people rave about them so much. I, I'm definitely gonna make them again. And if you try them, don't forget to send me photos on your social media of choice. Subscribe for regular videos, and if you already are, make sure your notifications are turned on. Don't forget there's hundreds of videos, there's a baking playlist, loads of videos for everyone here on the channel. So uh, have a little look to your heart's content. We'll see what Mrs. B thinks once she's off the call. But I just wanna reiterate, thank you so much uh, for all the support over the years, wherever you've been here from the beginning or only recently just joined. Um, you know, life takes you in different paths different ways. This channel alone has been a journey and I feel like we're just about to enter a new phase and I'm really excited to basically eat snickerdoodles for the rest of my life. All right guys, let's see what Mrs. B thinks and I'll see you soon. Bye. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. I wonder if I should just tiptoe upstairs and try and feed Mrs. B like this, like a baby with a rusk. I think she might get very angry. Let's try it. Ah, oh, you bought me a cookie. Are you still on your call? Yeah, thank you. Mrs. B did want to kick my butt then off camera. What are you doing? It's fine. <laughs>